Let's digest some food. Everything we eat mm. ends up in our stomach. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice and gloopy. Awesome. So once our food is there, all chewed up, mashed up, ends up in our stomach, our stomach muscles then start to squeeze and mix and churn up our food to help in digestion. Our stomach can hold two to four liters of food, liquid, and digestive juices. Ah, that's a handy food purse. Digestion is just a big disassembly line. Our digestive system breaks down and deconstructs food both mechanically and chemically. We have to convert the biomatter of food to something that our bodies can use on the cellular level. We start by biting and chomping food, but our bodies can't use this yet. It's still too big. Our organs begin to churn and squeeze the food and add things like enzymes and acids to start to break down our food into the smallest parts. When our stomach is breaking things down on a chemical level, it has help from its friend, hydrochloric acid. Because we're working with chemicals today, I need to make sure to change into my lab coat, put on my safety goggles and gloves, because as cool as this is going to be, it will burn our skin. Okay, we're back. We are goggled up, gloved up, and uh, we have our friend hydrochloric acid here. So let's see what will happen when we put a slice of ever delicious pizza inside our hydrochloric acid. Looks pretty gross already. This may take a while. Check it out. Cool, it liquefied and turned all black and gross. So wait, if we're just walking around with a bunch of acid sloshing about all the time. What's to keep that acid from, well, eating our stomach? Mucus, similar to the slime, coats and protects our stomach from the acid it carries. We grow a new stomach lining every three days to keep everything nice and fresh. Thanks, stomach, for helping us break things down today. Yum. Do you want some? No? Okay. <laughs>